right, let's do some more. See, so I don't have the wind howling in my ears today. 5G, fifth generation of telecommunications. How is it different? Why should we care? Okay, so 5G, it's a, it's a new way of emitting radiation. Radio frequency being non-ionizing radiation. Everything that beams through the air, even sunlight, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, microwave, it's all the same stuff. It's radio frequency, just at a different amperage or frequency or place inside the visible spectrum even. Now, non-ionizing radiation as opposed to plutonium or uranium, which is ionizing radiation, which knocks the electrons out of their path in your cells, and that's what leads to mutation. With non-ionizing radiation, it's not strong. It doesn't knock your electrons out of your path. It's more like uh, sandblasting stone or water pouring over stone. It, uh, it's a gentle erosion. It takes a long time, but it still happens. It chips away at really, really at the DNA level. It chips away at it, degrades it, leaves it open to mutation. It takes a long time. But uh, yeah, the pituitary tumors for from overdoing cell phone use—that's real stuff. I mean, LeBron James had a pituitary tumor. Like three days after he fucking found out about it, he got a multi-million dollar contract from uh, Samsung, so it didn't really make mainstream news. But, um, so 5G, it's a new way of emitting the radio frequency. Where, uh, 3G just it points, point and shoot. 3G, 2G, your CDMA, PCI. They just point and shoot. You point it at the population center that you want that signal to go to. All right, with LTE, it emits its radio frequency in a bubble, right? 360 degree bubble around itself. And the bigger, the bigger the surface area, the weaker the radio frequency or the signal is in here. Um, which, for the tower climbers watching this, that's why all of a sudden we've got. CDMAs on one azimuth and your LTEs all 120 degrees off is because they've got to make a 360 degree bubble for it to work. Otherwise, there's gaps in in the face. All right, so 5G though takes 4G, adds some of the lower, the sub gigahertz frequencies, and boosts it all up, and then has almost like a super highway laid over top of it because it's not just more of what we've got it is a new way of emitting the radiation which um, these new antennas have thousands of polyphase arrays in them where before antennas had three had one or two arrays which made them broadcast at a 45 degree angle now they have thousands of these tiny arrays and what they do is they focus the radio frequency into a beam or, uh, yeah, into a beam. They call it beam forming. Right? And using uh, another term, beam sweeping, they they use these thousands of little radio frequency apertures to pepper the countryside with ra radio frequency bullets in the attempt to connect everything that can be connected. So, you now the thing with it is, once you focus it into a beam or a cylinder, just like with light, which is just emitted energy as well, distance no longer really becomes an issue. It just goes on and on for, for a long time. You know, that's why you can blind pilots with a laser pointer. Well, similarly with radio frequency, once they focus it, it just goes on and on and on. But because 5G is such high frequency, frequency being how rapidly it repeats itself, how rapidly the wave propagates. All right. Well because it is so hyperactive it expends its energy quickly so even though the 5g beam could go miles and miles and miles the 5g data cannot so to deal with that they come up with small cells which are about the size of a book the ones that i saw for nokia um, and they will be down in your communities on the street corners street lamps they'll be inside of high rises large stores will have repeaters in there and they're just little cellular sites. Well, these things have hundreds of radio frequency emitters in there that similarly will make 
will make beams and they'll get everywhere. Now the issue, and, and a lot of people are going to say, yeah, but the amperage is low. You know, it's not very forceful. Well, let me tell you, I wired this up. It's neg 48 with 50 and 100 amp breakers. You do the math on it. If they chose to, they could amp this up and use it as a weapon. I'm not saying they're going to, but I don't really feel comfortable having a weapons platform installed on the corner either. I don't care who has the reins of power there. I didn't vote for that. I'm not with it. So, you say what you want, this has the capability to do harm, irreparable harm, and it's at their control. And they could individually target whomsoever they wanted to by just juicing it up. Just kicking it up a notch from what they say is safe to much, much, much unsafer levels. And they have the control over it. There's, and who's they even? I don't know. But I don't want some they to have a finger on the trigger pointed at my hip. I don't know about you. I keep my phone in my pocket. That's awful close to my genitals. I feel some kind of way about somebody pointing a gun at my genitals. Well. Alright, so I mentioned the sub gigahertz frequencies earlier. What's up? Come back on that? Have you already submitted them? Yeah. Alright, move to decoming the ropes and we'll see if it gets... Wait, it's gonna go fine. We're out of here. Let's decom this thing and get out of state. <laughs> copy, copy. Alright. So, the sub gigahertz technology, the sub gigahertz frequencies, where 5G, it focuses it into what's called a millimeter wave. And that's really... That's really the shift here, is the use of millimeter wave technology. Um, it has its origins in the United States military. Right? Um, they use it as an active denial system, crowd control. Um, they splash radio frequency in a millimeter wave over the populace, and it heats up It heats up the water molecules in their sweat, sweat glands. And now, 5G doesn't penetrate very deep, like half a centimeter or something, like just deep enough to get to your sweat glands. Which is just enough, really. We're aren't, we're walking antenna, human beings, being composed of as much water as we are. We are functioning antenna. Well, so that's what we got derailed here. Wait, we'll talk again some other time. <laughs>